Goku has now mastered his Ultra Instinct power, as Vegeta and everyone else decided to make a vow to do everything they can to make sure they get his power stronger than Goku's Master Ultra Instinct. In the last part, we mentioned that everyone was fighting with the androids as they were easily overpowering them, and from there, some deadly android has arrived to the battlefield as he managed to go and solar flare android 17 and 16, and he from there went and absorbed 18 and 17, getting to be perfect, and that was no one other than Cell. Cell also had Beerus to destroy DNA within him. Vegeta went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, a power which he has achieved from his training, and he began to overpower his Cell. Being the shit out of him like if there was no tomorrow, Cell went and he used his own god form which he has achieved by having Beerus and everyone's DNA within him. Upon using that form, Cell was able to easily overpower Vegeta. As he managed to one shot him, Goku came to fight Cell but Cell was stronger than Goku until Goku mastered his Ultra Instinct power. Upon mastering it, Goku was overpowering Cell as he was beating the shit out of him and with that Goku killed him with the Kamehameha wave. But now everyone started going to train for the next 7 years straight. What is going on my Z fans, welcome back to another part of what if Goku achieved Ultra Instinct against Frieza. Before we begin this what if, please drop me a like to show that you support this video, I'll greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't already, check out my backstory Hero of Z, it is pinned inside the comment section below. Check it out, trust me, you're going to really enjoy this series, as it is an ongoing series. Everyone decided to go and do everything they can to make themselves stronger. After witnessing the power of Cell, Vegeta saw that Goku has achieved something called Master Ultra Instinct and he couldn't accept the fact that Goku already has Ultra Instinct power but now he has Master Ultra Instinct. It couldn't absorb him as he decided to do everything he can to train and make sure he finds a power which will rival or be even stronger than Master Ultra Instinct. From there, Gohan and Piccolo saw how powerful Goku was and how weak they were so they begged Goku if he can train him too since they decide it is time for them to go and train with Goku and Whis so they can tap into God Ki like Goku and Vegeta. Whis has agreed to train them as they all went to Beerus World to train for at least a year and a half. Although Whis said only set one year but he gave them a year and a half and after training them for one year and a half, Whis told them they're all on their own as he wants them to get themselves to get stronger by doing their own self-training. Seven years has passed since they fought Cell and now all the z fires are doing everything they can to make themselves stronger. Within those seven years, Vegeta and Bulma's relationship continued to kick up as they had a son and they named him Trunks and from there Vegeta continued to grow in power. He first was trained with Whis for one and a half year and when he was able to absorb and get that new knowledge of power. He did everything he can to find his own ways as Vegeta continued to train hard because his one and only goal was to fight Goku after the 7 year gap. When it comes to Gohan, Gohan has entered the God Realm with Goku as he is able to tap into God Ki and he was training non-stop as he is now an adult. Gohan on the other hand has also dropped out of school because he wants to do nothing but train and fight alongside with his father and help protect the world because he sees just how powerful everyone is. When it comes to Piccolo, Piccolo was able to get his potential unleashed as he decided to go and summon the Dragon Balls and wish to have a potential unleashed power and upon doing so, he decided to go and fuse with Kami since Kami was getting old. It was time to have a new guardian for planet Earth and that guardian was no one other than Dende. Goku was able to go to planet Namek to get Dende to come to planet Earth. Since they all owed Goku a debt, they accepted Dende to go as he is now the guardian of planet Earth. Piccolo on the other hand has now gotten God Key training with Whis and Goku and everyone else as he has continued with his training and he is making sure he is able to tap into greater heights and greater power. When it comes to Goku, Goku and Chi Chi's relationship continue to spike up as they had another child and they named him Goten. While Goku did everything he can to try to continue to master his Ultra Instinct power and even go beyond it as everyone did nothing but train for the next 7 years straight but now it was time for Vegeta and Goku's fight to happen. It was one hype that everyone was looking forward to see who is stronger Goku or Vegeta since Vegeta vowed to do everything he can to make sure he surpasses him. But before that fight can happen, Supreme Kai has come towards planet Earth as he told Goku and Vegeta and everyone else the danger that Majin Buu is and that he has to be killed otherwise he's gonna go and destroy all the planets. Goku decided to go look for Majin Buu, Vegeta did not agree to it but he saw that Goku went so which got him to be really angry and throughout the entire time he had a very fussy fussy mood which got him to be a very easy bait for Bobbidi. Once when they got there, they didn't saw Bobbidi and King Dobora as Piccolo would decide to go and handle them himself but Vegeta was more anxious to fight with Goku. He continued to argue with him to fight him but Goku told him to chill and wait until they're able to beat Bobbidi but Vegeta had no patience. 
because he'd put himself into hell and stress just to get the power he has right now. With that, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Goku as he tried to hit him, and when Babidi saw that, he then saw that Piccolo went and he infiltrated as he managed to go and one-shot King Dabura. King Dabura didn't stood a chance against Piccolo, while Babidi saw that if he wants to resurrect Majin Buu and have any hopes to survive, he better make Vegeta be on his side since Vegeta is already has a tinted in his heart. Next thing you know, Babidi went and used his magic on Vegeta, getting to become Majin Vegeta. Vegeta has now transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution as he has now become Majin Vegeta and with that he looked towards Goku and said Your battles with me Kakarot, fight me! Otherwise I'm gonna kill everyone that's here! Uh, you bastard! You had no patience, huh? Okay fine then, it looks like I have no choice! With that Goku has also transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken but Vegeta did not like that. While their power was clashed with each other it was so strong that after a few clashes, Majin Buu was already resurrected. That's a powerful two Super Saiyan Blue evolution and Kaioken power wear. Upon making it be resurrected, Gohan saw that Majin Buu came out as he powered up his key and with that Gohan has transformed to his Super Saiyan God. Okay then, I will be the one to end this bastard. Without Majin Buu making a move, Gohan instantly came right in front of him as he began to beat the shit out of Majin Buu. Buu then stood a chance against Gohan, especially the fact that he has God Ki, and he also got his potential unleashed, so that's mystic power with God Ki, yeah. Gohan is something that you cannot mess with, as Gohan went and began to beat the shit out of Majin Buu and he killed him with a blast. Seeing that Majin Buu has died got Bobby to be completely disheartened since now he has no one on his side, but he realized he has Vegeta. Vegeta on the other hand saw that Goku was distracted as Goku was able to sense Gohan use God Ki and with that he went and one shot at Goku since he dropped his guard as Goku passed out. Vegeta then decided to go and arrive to the battlefield since his heart was really tinted. Babidi's spell did a good cast on him getting Vegeta to be complete control and with that Vegeta has now arrived to the battlefield as Gohan was shocked to see Vegeta and said, Vegeta? What the hell's going on? Out of my way you pig squeak! Vegeta charged right towards Gohan and he decked him right in his face, getting Gohan to be sent flying. Gohan managed to stop himself as he charged right towards Vegeta and when he tried to hit him, Vegeta dodged it after all he is using his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution power. He then went and one shot Gohan towards the ground since he was able to catch Gohan off guard. From there, Piccolo saw that Vegeta's power was outrageous as he had so much evilness within him and his plan was to destroy the earth and everything else and continue destroying anything that comes in his path. He had no control over himself, the only thing that would control him is if he were able to fight with Goku and see if he can beat Master Ultra instant. From there Vegeta went and he charged right towards Babidi as he picked him up and he killed him right there. Piccolo went and he charged right towards Vegeta and hit him, Vegeta dodged that as he looked towards him and said, Ha! <laughs> Looks like the Namekian thing he has a chance against me. Calm down Vegeta, I don't want to use my full power. Ha! <laughs> Even if you're dead, it wouldn't do a thing, you're too weak! Okay then, let me show you! With that, Piccolo decided to go use his full power as he has now gone and transformed. Piccolo has now transformed into his orange form. A form which he has been using as a trump card you can say whenever something comes up. And with God Key, his form was really powerful. Vegeta was shocked to see that as he was smiled and said, Looks like you might be a bigger challenge than Kakara, bring it on then! With that, they both got into a ready position and now the battle begun. Vegeta went and charged right towards Piccolo while Piccolo did the same and the power clashed with each other. From there, Piccolo went and struck Vegeta in his face, getting to be sent flying. Vegeta then tried to go and throw a blast towards Piccolo but he dispersed it as he looked towards Vegeta and said, You're too weak Vegeta! You wouldn't stand a chance against me in this power! Piccolo went and charged right towards Vegeta as he began to beat the shit out of him. Despite the fact that Vegeta has used the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution power, it wasn't enough to stop even Orange Piccolo since Orange Piccolo is far stronger than him and with that Piccolo began to beat him up as Vegeta didn't stand a chance against Piccolo. Seeing that Piccolo was able to surpass him, he looked towards Vegeta and said, 
It must be a very sour feeling knowing that Goku's stronger than you and me. Ha! <laughs> You're too weak! How about I use my full power? Let me show you what I have figured out myself! Let me show you my Ultra Ego! Kakron has Ultra Instinct? Well, you can call this Ultra Ego. Now, Orange Boy, you think you have enough power to beat me? What the hell? Vegeta! Your powers! Before Piccolo could say another word, Vegeta is seeking right in front of him, as he needed right in his stomach, getting Piccolo to be in pain, and from there, Vegeta striked him in his face as he began to punch him nonstop. Vegeta then threw Piccolo high in the air as he powered up a galley gun and aimed right towards him. Piccolo tried to hold it off, but the power was too strong for him its orange form to handle. After all, it is Ultra Ego Vegeta. And with that, the entire power has engulfed Piccolo, getting him to pass out, as he fell right towards the ground. Vegeta began to laugh, seeing that Piccolo didn't stood a chance against him, but before anything could happen, he heard a loud explosion, and when he turned around, he saw Goku has transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Alright Vegeta, you wanted to fight my power, here it is, my Master Ultra Instinct, let's see what you got then. Huh, <laughs> it's about time Kakarot, bring it on. To find out what happened next, I have to click the Belma Z fan as we end things right here with Vegeta and Goku squaring off to see who is the stronger one, will Vegeta prevail or will it be Goku? All this will be answered in the next part. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click it so you have a chance to RP in that server. And if you haven't checked my backstory, Hero Z, it is pinned to the comment section below. Check it out. Trust me, you're going to really like and enjoy this series.